Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Recon. And Recon, it stands for, this is where we have real estate conversations that help us improve our skills. Because in case you haven't noticed, we are in a skills-based market these days. And it's 6.30 a.m. out here on the West Coast. So I am your host today, Don Aldrich. I'm filling in for our bold coaches, Denny Grimes and John. Uh, Denny is in Greece and John is in Alaska. So uh, my goal is to let's make this the best recon ever. And I, I kind of feel like the substitute teacher, you know, and we all had substitute teachers in school where it's like, oh, man. Uh, and I know some of you, it's like, what can I get away with today that I can't get away with with the with the main man? So um, I'm doing my best, Cindy, to control the classroom and see that the homework is done and we hold it all together till those guys get back, until the real teachers return. So no taking advantage of the substitute teacher today, all right? And thank you, Cindy. You're our class monitor. Thanks for helping me out here. And we always start recon with what's special about today. And I looked it up and Cindy, you know what's today? You know what's special about today? Shake your head what? now. <laughs> no oh today I don't. is today is fresh spinach day well how does that relate to recon now i as a kid and to this day i can't eat cooked spinach it just grosses me out right but i i can handle fresh spinach on a salad i like it i like it in a sandwich but not cooked so recon is the fresh spinach ashley you may not like having spinach first thing in the morning right but when we eat our spinach, right? Recon is is the spinach of the day. And if we you power through eating your spinach and get your vitamins, you too can be like Popeye the Sailor Man and fight to the finish. And it'll give you the strength to convert people into listings and sales, which help everybody out. So uh, we're going to do some perfect practice today. Today is Telephone Tuesday. So break out your your best can of spinach, right? Um, you might want to put your, I haven't done it yet myself. You may want to put your, um, as Ashley has done, put your city and state up there so people know where you are because you potentially can find um, not only referral partners, you know, somebody may have a referral for, for Boston or, or Nassau County as Tanner's got up there. Um, but you may also um, identify with somebody and maybe you can pick up a role play partner here too. And if you want a role play partner, I would just say, put it out there in the chat and say, hey, I'm Don Aldrich. I'm looking for role play partners. I'm in you know, Syracuse, New York, and put your information out there. So today's Telephone Tuesday. Let's get the hands up. Um, we want a member always to be compliant. And um, we want to have a strong bull ride out of that gate, that first eight seconds on that bull. We want to be, be strong and good. Now, yesterday, we did have some longer statements where we didn't allow the, the client to come up for air, right? Let them play in the conversation, too. Shorter statements, question-based statements. Let them play. Let them answer in a two-way street. So question-based, question listen for those answers. And I see Christian Moss with the first hand. And Chaz Elliott in Marco Island, Florida, do you want to play? Yeah, my hands you up. The you don't have the option, Chaz. You're playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Christian, tell us, tell us who Chris, tell us who Chaz is. Hey, Chaz, you are a for sale by owner. Awesome. Yeah, right. We had we had some fun with that. So he's on. You're on the phone with him, okay? Yep. Christian, and and you got two minutes. Let's go. Ready. Go. Hi there. Is this Chad, the owner of the home? I own a home. Hi. Uh, this is Christian with Trade Homes over at Keller Williams. I was calling to see if it was actually still available or already sold. No, you can see on Zillow that it's still available. All right. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't update uh, quite accurately, but it's still available. Okay. Uh, are you open interviewing other agents for the job of selling your home? Well, I haven't interviewed any agents because I'm selling it by myself. Okay. You haven't in interviewed any yet. Are you opposed to interviewing agents at all? Do you have a buyer for my home? 
I could probably find one, yeah. And okay. how long do you well, plan on doing that? How long do you plan on doing it for sale by owner before uh before interviewing an interview uh real estate agent? Until it sells. Okay, so you have no interest? To interview I mean, an agent I've only had home. it on the market for two weeks, so I'm gonna you know, see what I could do hosting open houses on the weekends and mm -hmm. see what kind of traffic I get. Okay. After it sells, where, where are you going to go? Uh, we have another property on the other side of the island. We're just going to, that's where we live now. We'll probably just make that our primary and we're just trying to get a little cash out of this one. Mm, okay. So you don't really need to sell it? All right. At this point, I probably hang no. up and move on to the next floor. So I wonder, to be honest, he has no interest in you need to sell it. I moved on to a new new person, but owner at this point. I hung okay. Up. Okay. All right. I, I would have said goodbye and whatnot, but he has no interest All in right. interviewing. So. Okay, I'm out. Very good. There's All other right. ways around that. Yeah, there's there's a lot of ways to eat spinach, and that's that's okay, Christian. That's that's why we're here. Because with a few more questions, he may he may be a client of yours. So, a um, mm -hmm. couple of couple of uh, comments I wrote down. Your first question was, uh, you're planning to interview other agents. Um, the word other, it was like uh, deflecting from yourself. So um, are you planning, on, when do you plan on interviewing agents for the job, which you did get around to? We want to be careful. And, and Chaz, Chaz didn't give you much. He was, he was, he was pretty straight, straight laced and no emotion. I was trying Chaz. to, but he wasn't leaving the door open for me. Yeah, yeah, you were you were kind of the the ice maiden there, right? And um, one thing we want to make sure is we don't want to make assumptions. You were assuming that he was going to be interviewing, and I think that puts you back on your heels a little bit. And Chaz kind of took uh, control of that conversation. We don't, you don't know where he's going to be interviewing, or if he's going to be interviewing. So be careful with assumptions, because um, that puts Chaz in control of the conversation, and there. There was one time where you asked a question and before Chaz could answer it, you jumped right in with another one, which is, as Denny has taught us, we want to make sure that we give him an opportunity to answer because in that answer, that might be the exit for your opportunity to close for an appointment. So um, again, I've, I've been there. Sometimes we're so guilty of getting through our script. We, we miss the answers. So, but good job. You good job. You gave us an extra 25 seconds. So let's flip it around now. And Chaz, you get to play with Tanner. Okay. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna call an expired listing. Let's okay. Go. All right. Okay, ring ring. Hello. Hey, is this Tanner? It is who is this? Let, let me start again. Ring ring. Hello? Hello, is this the owner of one two three Main Street? Yes, I am. Hey, my name's Chaz Elliott. I'm with Keller Williams Realty here on Marco Island. And I see your home is uh, no longer for sale on our multiple listing service. Yeah, I had to let the other agent go. So, but I have somebody else. So I think you already have to... another agent? Yeah, I have somebody else in mind that's coming. Oh, have mind. you signed any uh, contracts with them yet? No, no, but you know, he was referred to me by a friend and he's coming over tonight. I, you know, I feel like we're going to go move forward with him. But if you have a buyer, okay. just bring your buyer to compensate all of you guys. Um, yeah, I, I have a whole stable of buyers I could bring by once it's listed, but I'd like to share my sales and marketing package with you. Maybe there's something in my package that'll be a little bit better than or better for you than what your uh, friend's friend is going to show you tonight. I mean, let me ask you, you know, before we waste anybody's time, how many homes have you sold in my neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Uh, four. Okay. So you're saying you're the man in the area that I should interview I'm, you? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I have a uh, pretty strong sales and marketing packet I can show you that I think you'll like. And if you're more comfortable working with your friend's friend, that's fine. I, I'd still like to share it with you. Well, look, you come from contribution, so I like that. So let's see what you have since you sold four homes in the area. Okay. Um, would you mind sharing your email address with me so I could send it over to you? It's going to take me a few minutes just to personalize it to your home, and I'll send it right over. 
I appreciate that. ABC at gmail.com. Thank you. All right. Great, Tanner. I'll send that over and then I'll give you a follow up call in the morning. Yep. All right. Time. Thanks so much. Right at, right at, right at two minutes, Chaz. Okay. Good. Um, good bull ride out of there. And as we, um, as we do recon, I like the fact you said multiple listing service. Remember, we as agents tend to use acronyms, MLS, COE, right? And so multiple listing service, they understand multiple listing service. Have you signed yet when he said he had an agent? Um, I did write down when you said a whole stable of buyers, I was thinking, had it been me, I being an expired, well, where were you when it when you had it for when I had it for sale? If you really have a whole stable of buyers. So and if you do, that's awesome. Just be ready to protect that in case somebody throws that back to you. Well, if you got all these buyers, where were you? And obviously we know, well, I'm I was out selling my own listings versus somebody else's. So um and, and Tanner, uh, you were going right along with them. I like somebody coming from contribution. And how did you know four homes was enough, Tanner? That's a big number. I, I don't know. I just wanted to give him the credit that, you know, he was at least be honest with it. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, Tanner was impressed by the four. Now, if you're calling it a big city, somebody might not be addressed by the number. So, um, be careful. You may want to have another answer. In that case, it, it certainly worked and and you guys did a nice job. So very good. All right. Well, Tanner, you're just up. And of, you're... Just out of curiosity, ahead, anyone can answer this. When Tanner asked um, Chaz, how many homes have you sold? Aside from answering and uh, giving a definitive number, what would you, are there other ways to say it and kind of digress on that? I would I would say is that one of the criteria that you'll be you know looking at when hiring an agent? That's what I would probably come back with. And I like that. Or, or what's important yeah. to you about how many homes I sold in your neighborhood? Right. What's the criteria? I don't like answering questions with questions. I was taught that as a young child by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the you got the woman to ask me a living. <laughs> Socrates made a living out of that. So. All right. Well, okay, so. it's like there's a lot of different ways to prepare spinach, and that's why we're here. So yeah. nice job. So Thank Tanner, you. you're calling you're calling Agent Ashley in Minnesota. So I'm calling Ashley. You're this is a follow up call, and you're an expired, but this is a follow up call. Ring ring. Okay. Hello. Hey Ashley. Hi. Good morning. This is Tanner with KW Realty. How are you today? I'm good. Great to hear that. Last time when we spoke, you mentioned you make, you know, be thinking again, move, uh, making a move again. I mean, has, has that changed? I uh, no, that hasn't changed. Um, but we're just kind of tying up some loose ends on where we're going to next. I see. Actually, I know I more or less you mentioned a little bit that you wanted to move down south. When did you guys first decide to make that move? Um, well, I guess we've always had the plan to move down there. It was just a matter of timing. I see. I, it sounds like timing is important. I mean, what was the reason you were going down there first? Um, to retire down there. Okay. And ha have you seen anything that you like? Have you picked the area exactly something that, you know, you might be interested in? Yeah, we are, um, like I said, we're just kind of tying up some loose ends right now. I think we found a place. So we're just kind of determining a move in date and getting that all situated right now. I see. I mean, if, if it made sense to make that move sooner than later, that, you know, potentially benefit you and financially. Is that something that you'd be interested to look at right now? Um, yeah, I mean, we're kind of in the process of getting everything dialed in over there. So, you know, once we do, then we'll be ready to put, you know, our home on the market. Great. And before I let you go, you know, 
how how important it is that you're ready by the time you decide to sell your home you feel kind of you're, you're ready you have all the tools and information yeah i mean time time okay let me get the clock off um good job tanner um now this was somebody that you had already spoken to had you met with her or just was it a conversation on the phone it was just a, you know expired conversation on the phone they had their home for sale back in the day then you know we connected then i'm just following right. up to see if you can change that, that okay and 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 when we when we ask again how are you we can do that if you feel that they that they that they know you that if that if you really feel that be careful when calling anybody that really doesn't know you and hey Tanner Don Aldridge how are you oh you're a realtor click because they know I don't care how they are right um, whereas if somebody if I had a really decent conversation with and I think they'd remember hey Susan Don Aldridge how are you and again a, a way to get away from that and still be nice is um, hey Ashley. Don Aldrich, um, thank you for taking my call, right? Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for picking up the phone. I appreciate that. Thank you. And and then you can, you know, launch into it. Um, sometimes that, how are you? You know, I mean, we all get telemarketing calls. Hi, this is John Smith from ABC Marketing. How are you, Don? Okay, see ya, right? So uh, nice job. And, and you went right to the motivation, which which was good hitting at at that heart may have wanted to uh, point out, gosh, since we spoke last, or are you aware that seventeen homes in your area, no matter how big or small it is, have sold in the last thirty days? If we could have you become one of those seventeen homes selling in the next thirty days, would it? Would it be of interest for me to get together? Or in Chaz's case, if I could help you be one of those 17 people in the next 10 days, would you like to look at a marketing plan that can help get you there? So you might, might want to bring the what, what's happened in the recent market to maybe, oh my gosh, 17 homes have sold in my area. How come mine hasn't? Yeah, I, I want to get there. So that might heighten the motivation a little bit more. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah, nice Thanks. job. Nice job. Okay. We got, uh, Ashley, you're calling, looks like you're calling a tag team, the Frank Ruma doubles team in Ohio. Actually, you're <laughs> going to be working with Aiden. Today. No, just me. I'm Aiden. Aiden. Hi, Aiden. All right, Ash. We got Ashley to Aiden. And who is Aiden? Aiden, you want to be a for sale by owner or you want to be an expired? Um, I'll let you choose. We can do for sale by owner then. Okay, for sale by owner. Okay. Go ahead. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, is this the owner of the home for sale on 123 Main Street on Zillow? Yeah, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Ashley Trulson. I'm with Keller Williams. I was just calling to see if this home, is it still available or have you gotten it sold? No, yeah, it's on Zillow. It's still available. Awesome. Okay, when are you planning to interview agents for the job of helping you get it sold? You know, I think I'm just going to do it myself. That's why I have it on Zillow. It's for sale by owner. Okay. And why are you trying to do it on your own? Uh, I mean, my neighbor did it, so I think I can do it myself. Nice. Okay. So do you already have your next spot lined up when this one sells? Yeah, we're thinking about just moving south. We'll hire an okay. agent there to find something. Awesome. Okay. So you haven't found that property yet? No, not yet. I want to get this one, at least an offer in. Gotcha. Okay. And what's your time frame? You know, whenever we can get this household. Okay. Well, would it be of interest to you if I could show you how I could get this property sold in the next 10 days? I could swing by for about 10 minutes. And if at that yeah, time you feel like you'd be a good fit. Do you have a buyer for it? Well, that's exactly why I would love to pop over and I can show you what I can do to get a buyer for you. I have tomorrow at two. I can swing by. How does that sound? Yeah, if you can bring a buyer, that'd be great. Okay, well, I can show you what I do to get, hopefully not one, but two or three buyers. Because it looks That's like fine. you're, at, is that fine? Okay. Yeah, you can bring them up. 
Well, so it would be just me coming initially. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Well, I will see you tomorrow at two. What is a good email for you as well? One, two, three at Gmail. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at two. Thank you. Nice job. Right on the two minutes, Ashley. Okay. And now you got me saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I got to get that out of my head. <laughs> yes. Well, and, and, and that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I caught I caught kind of in the beginning. I did hear some words from you like that were not okay. Um and I can't remember what they were, but it was funny. Once we got into the conversation, that that reared its ugly head and popped up. I mean, it's yeah. very cute. It, it, again, it can get repetitive. So you had a great bull ride. And when we want to watch when when folks say something like he said, it's in Zillow. We don't need we don't need to put those filler words. Oh, it's in Zillow. Right. We don't need to repeat everything they say. Um, oh, you gotcha. You said gotcha once. And good. I, okay, she's paying attention. In other words, we don't need to repeat. Oh, yes, it's in Zillow. Um, and I wrote down if I if I can help you get there, you know, in the next ten days, you know, would you have ten minutes to spare with me? Um, I I would I I would add the words unprotected or unassisted to it, but when you're calling for sale by owners, somewhere in there, throw in there the fact that they're they're not protected. They're unassisted. You know, gosh, if I can help you, you know, I, I may have a buyer. Oh, good. Have you pre-qualified the buyer? Well, no, that's the lender's job. Oh, my gosh. As an unassisted seller, if I could actually help you uh, get that buyer pre-qualified and get it closed, would that be worth 10 minutes of your time so I can show you how to do that? And you did say that's exactly why I love Remember, they don't care who we love. You know, oh, I'd love to get together. Of course, we'd love to get together. The question is, we got to get them to, to, to want to love to get together with us. You did switch it around, though. And that's exactly why we need to get together. Instead of that's exactly why I, I'd love to get together with you. And because and, he was he was kept saying, bring a buyer, bring a buyer, bring a buyer. And I, it, that that would cause any of us to stumble. And I did, I did say, I did like the fact when you said, well, I potentially could bring you two to three buyers, but I essentially need to see the home first. So you got them off of the bring a buyer, bring a buyer, bring a buyer. Well, I can do that. However, let's get together and I can show you how I can bring you multiple buyers, which actually could put more money in your pocket. Would you be interested in that? So nice That's job. Smooth. I like it. Good job. Yeah. Frank, you are very, very realistic by owner. So yeah, you are you are up now. Frank, you're you're dishing it out. You got, oh, you hey. got Mr. Brad. All right, Brad. Can you be an expired for me? I can be an expired. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, but this is gonna be like your house came off the market, let's say like three months ago. Old expired. Oh, All really right. Really expired. expired. Almost dead. Okay. <laughs> Ring -ring. Hello, this is Brad. May I help you? Hey, Brad. My name is Aiden Homily. I'm a local agent. Giving you a call about 123 Main. Are you still the owner? Yeah, I am still the owner. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, I want to reach out to you. I see you had your house on the market a couple of months ago. Wanted to see if you were still interested in getting that house sold. I don't know. I don't know. Where were you at when it was for sale? I mean, are you just getting started or... As an agent, just now seeing yeah, it? Yeah. No, I was, uh, yeah, I would just, well, I wanted to reach out because I saw it was on the market, you know, a while ago. And I wanted to see, you know, if you would have gotten that sold, where do you think you'd be moving to? I don't think that really matters to you. I mean, where were you at when I was trying to sell it and when it was on the market? Well, I mean, it matters to me. I'd like to, you know, help you get to that next spot in your life. That's why I just wanted to reach out and see if I could help you, you know, get there. Let me ask you this. Well, if you, when you had the market, did you have any offers and showings? Was it, were you having a busy time? Yeah, I had a couple of offers, but um, they were just not high enough for me, so I rejected them. Okay. Let's say if you had an acceptable offer today, would you take it? Would you move? Hmm. Yeah, I might. You got a buyer? 
Yeah, well, this is why I wanted to reach out to you. If I could show you a way that I could get you that offer here in the next couple of weeks, um, would, would that make sense to you for us to get together this evening and see how I could get that done for you? Does that sound fair? Well, you're not going to just be wasting my time like the other agent, I hope. No, I won't waste your time. It'll be 15 minutes worth your while. How's four o'clock sound? What it makes you different? What makes you different on the phone? I mean, just kind of give me some, uh, give me some points on what makes you different. I mean, uh, first of all, I'm on a team here. Our team lead is, you know, nominated for best, the best here in the area. Um, and I, we sell a lot of houses in the area, but I'm sure you're hearing that from a lot of different agents. Really, what I'd like to show you is, you know, how we can sit down at the table and show you how we can get that house sold. And that's going to be something I can tell you your 15, 20 minutes won't take too much of your time. I don't know. Let me uh, let me talk to my wife. And speaking of that time. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hey, Aiden. Holy smokes. Hey, Aiden, um, I don't know what that is. Somebody's ringing. Um, you were question after question after question, and you were good job kind of pinning Brad down, kind of like jab, jab, jab. You were working him into a corner. And I, I like the fact you, you were question based, question based. And again, uh, I, I like the fact you said, you know, it's only going to take 15 minutes. You know, in fact, I'm so confident, Brad, I'm not going to waste your time. I'll, I'll leave the, I'll leave the car running in the driveway. You know, I'll put my watch on the table and I'll set it to 15 minutes. And I promise you, I will leave after 15 minutes. And when uh, Brad is asking, well, where were you? Gosh, we, and you kind of deflected the question. You didn't answer it, but it wasn't offensive. You, 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 you said, you know, 90 days ago, you in essence said that, hey, I'm just calling you now um, to see if you're still interested in selling. And he wasn't getting anything to bite on. Mm -hmm. a, a little stronger question or answer to that might have been, well, I would, you know, I, Brad, I was out selling. I was out selling the, my properties. I was out selling the people that had committed to me because I'm committed to them. And maybe that's a little bit more than your last agent did. Got to be careful with that because we don't know if the last agent was his best friend. But I was, mm -hmm. I was out selling the properties that I was that had committed to me. And you know, Brad, there's a lot of unmotivated sellers out there. There's a lot of property on the market these days, and there's a lot of kind of looky loo buyers. I just wanted to see if we actually brought you a motivated buyer. You know, and there's and I and and you said this, and it was cash in the bag. Would you still sell it? And Brad still didn't give you a strong answer. But hey, Brad, if we showed up at your doorstep tomorrow with a bag of gold, would you still move? But nice job, good job. Um, I think we got time for one more. So Brad, you get to call Mr. Robert Renneker in Spokane. All right, for sale by owner. Ring, ring, ring. Okay. You're on mute, Robert. Hello, Robert. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is this the uh, owner of the home that's for sale on 123 Main Street? Yeah, that's my home. Great. Thanks for taking the call. This is Brad. I'm with Keller Williams Real Estate. And I am on LaSalle Street, which is two blocks down. And I would... Wanted to find out if I could come in and take a quick look at your home. Are you um, willing to work with buyers when we bring you a, a buyer? Excuse me, willing to work with realtors when we bring you a buyer? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you actually have a buyer, I mean, we'd be willing to to talk to you. Um, do you have any buyers? Yes, I do. Uh, that's why I'm calling you. So would I be able to come in? Uh, I'd probably be over there in about 15 minutes. Would I be able to come in and visit with you for a moment, take a look at the home. Uh, well, 15 minutes from now, it's not going to work because I, you know, I'm just getting ready to head out. Uh, so uh, what, what are your buyers looking like? I mean, is this a home that they're looking for or are they just, are you just have random buyers? A lot of my buyers are qualified and I have a couple of buyers that are looking in this neighborhood and your home would be a fit because there are other homes in the neighborhood that, that are similar. So you also have qualified buyers and uh, they are serious about buying. So when, uh, would, uh, when you, when you, ha, ha, would you be available this evening at five? Uh, possibly, um, you know, I, I guess, you know, my, my hope would be is that, um, is that we're not, this is going to be a waste of time. I mean, are you, 
Are you looking to just sell my property? Or are you one of those agents that are calling me, trying to get me to list with them? No, I'm just simply looking for a buyers. I'm a buyer agent. What I would do is visit you, take a look at the home, also share a, a document with, uh, with you that's called a authorization to show. We would agree on a fee that it, when, uh, when I bring a buyer, Time. Uh, we would agree, agree on a time, fee Brad. and I'll try to stop. Time, 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 <laughs> time. Okay. I, I'd be careful with the, with the end of that. The last thing they may want to do is look at a piece of paper and in that document, they're thinking they're signing their life away with you. I, I'd be mm -hmm. careful with that. I, I, I would bring it, uh, but I'd be careful because that might give him a reason to back off of the uh, of the appointment, and okay, yeah, that would have been that would have been my first approach. To be honest with you, I'd have say been that like, again, uh, Robert. I said that would have been my first approach when he started to say that and be like, uh, "Why am I signing anything?" So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and again, ladies and gentlemen, when, when we say we, if you say you have a buyer, you got to be prepared to back it up. You know, Robert, I, I do have a buyer. I do represent, you know, John and Mary Smith. And I'd be happy to show you their biography and tell you more about this family. I'm not just, you know, blowing smoke at you. I really do have a buyer. And once I seen you home, I could call them from your house and, and set an appointment with you right there with them. So, you know, I'm for real. But it, it just starts with me basically walking through your home. So, when would be a good time since the 15 minutes, 15 minutes away, Brad was too soon. When would be a good time, Robert, that I can actually demonstrate that I do, unlike a lot of agents that are bothering you, I really do have a buyer that may want to buy this home. When would be a good time? So very good. All right. Well, we're at the top of the hour. Nice job, everybody. Susan even has the spinach behind her. Look at that back screen of Susan. <laughs> I know it's four leaf clovers, but hey, <laughs> nice job with the spinach. So, all right, good job. We'll be back here tomorrow. And everybody, remember, be like Popeye, fight to the finish. Go eat your spinach. Have a great day. Right. Thanks. Take care, Mr. Oil. <laughs>